Beth. She is a health and nutrition coach. She's also a really, really smart, really fun person. And she did a Trader Joe's haul. She's going to tell us about what she got, why she got the products, and we all love Trader Joe's. So we're gonna dive right in. Thank you, Kelsey. All right, so where should we start? We have so many good things. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so brown rice. This is a staple of most people's diets and why I love this is you can heat it up in the microwave. So if you're in a big hurry and you don't want to like boil and you know all that, this is perfect. Although I try not to use microwaves very much, but this is like a, a lifesaver if you're in a hurry. So it'd be a good like post or pre-workout starch. Another thing I got is Kerrygold butter. I cut out dairy for such a long time from my diet because it's very sensitive, but Butter only has 1% uh, protein, which is what a lot of people are intolerant to. And it, the rest of it is amazing, good fat. So I've started to introduce um, butter into my diet and Kerrygold is the only thing I'll buy because it's grass fed instead of junk fed basically. So it's the only thing I get. And it's delicious. And it's delish, yeah. Uh, this is just really easy, uh, all natural ground turkey. My roommate, she said that this like revolutionized her dieting because it just tastes really good. You can just make it and put it like at the beginning of the week you can make it and then put it in a skillet. You make burgers out of it. Yeah. There's like so many things you can do with it and if you weigh out your meals, ground meat is great because you can either weigh out your burgers and pre-make them or you can cook it all and then weigh a portion out after you cook it. Seasoning. Everyone knows that I am like the seasoning and condiment queen. Yes. Love it. Seasonings. If you don't have seasonings, it's probably just the worst idea ever. So this is everyday seasoning. It's amazing. It tastes so good. What is even in it? This has been my go-to. I'm almost out. Sea salt, mustard seeds, black peppercorns, coriander, onion, garlic, paprika, chili pepper. That's really good. And then Pink Himalayan salt is so good, and it's pink, so it's so pink. matches Kelsey's hair. So <laughs> why is pink Himalayan salt so much better than table salt? The so table salt is bleached, and all of the nutrients or minerals are taken out of it. So pink Himalayan salt uh, is way better than table salt because table salt they bleach it, they process it a lot, and this is straight from the mountain. It has tons of minerals. It's really good, it's really tasty, and it adds um, a lot of benefits to your body. Actually, pink Himalayan sea salt has a lower sodium level than table salt does because all the minerals are still in it. So pound for pound, there's less sodium in a pound of Himalayan salt than table salt. Oh, I didn't know that. That's interesting. All right, organic Tuscan kale. Kale, of course, is our favorite. Oh, kale, yeah. Oh, kale, yeah. <laughs> So this is really tasty. I love making a, a saute with like some kale and some pine nuts and maybe it's some raisins if I want a little sweetness in there. But this is so easy and it's already washed. I don't even wash it. Um, Once, when you have like a washed green that's already pre-washed and organic in a bag, you really don't need to wash it. The water and the gunk from your sink actually makes it more dirty because it's so clean already in the package. And that's awesome. A lot of people hate chopping up kale, myself included. So if I can get it packaged and ready to go like that, awesome. So if you're in a really big hurry and you're just getting started eating healthy you know, you're kind of exploring, I love, I used to make this all the time, just brown rice noodles, spaghetti noodles and pasta sauce. And this pasta sauce is organic. It doesn't have soybean oil in it, which a lot of um, sauces do. It has a little bit of sugar, which of course is not the best, but if you're in a hurry, this is so much better than you know, like feeling starved and feeling like you need to you know, run and eat something, you know, get hangry and just go to McDonald's or whatever. And if you already have your turkey prepped for the week, you can throw a little bit of that in there and you have your protein too. So this part might freak you out a little bit, but oysters and sardines are so much better than people give them credit for. Yeah, I think they just get a bad rap and they actually taste good. I love them. Uh, so sardines, I love having these packages of sardines. I always keep like five in my pantry because I'll just 
make them really quick for a snack. They have tons of protein, tons of omega-3s, which 99% of people are deficient in omega-3s and they run like everything in your body. So you wanna make sure you're getting your omega-3s. And then oysters, these are smoked oysters. Uh, they're amazing, I love. I actually got these together. Goat cheese and oyster oysters on are so good together. Like, I don't know why. They're just <laughs> very, it's like a foodie thing. I feel like I'm at a restaurant when I make it, so. And it's very impressive to put out as appetizers and you don't even have to do any prep work. This is a new bar that I never tried, but it was at Trader Joe's. I had it last week and it was pretty good. And it doesn't have junk in it. It has- I've never seen that one. What yeah. is it called? Plus Green? A Plus Greens bar? Yeah. No, nothing but like real, real, real food, which is what we want to eat. So it's really good, especially for a snack if you're in a hurry. Avocados, of course. Do I need to say more? They're awesome. They're just awesome. So they have a really good deal. I think there's like two seventy five for four avocados. That's so. a bargain. Yeah. And then having something like avocados with something like sardines is great because avocados are super high in omega six. Sardines are really high in omega-3, and a lot of us are out of balance with our omegas. Like our sixes are usually really, really high, and our threes are really low. So sardines and avocados would be like an A-plus meal together. Applesauce is an amazing dessert if you want something sweet after a meal. And the problem I see with a lot of applesauce on the market is it's full of sugar or preservatives. It's really terrible for you, and you think it's healthy because it's applesauce. But if you look at the ingredients on this, it's organic applesauce, and literally, literally the ingredients are organic apples from fresh, whole, triple washed, ripe, organic apples. That's the only ingredient. So these are really amazing. And that just shows you the importance of reading labels. Yeah. Okay. This is seasonal at Trader Joe's. It's one of my favorite things, organic pumpkin. It's delicious. There's so many recipes. One of my favorite recipes is from skinnytaste.com. It's the white pumpkin chili, and I'm sure Kelsey can put a link really good. below. It is so good. I'll you find just, it and link it below for you guys. Yeah, you just put it in the crock pot, you put pumpkin in it, and it's definitely one of my favorites, and that's what I bought this for. And if you guys watch my channel, you know I use that stuff in everything. I have a pumpkin spice latte recipe and a crustless pumpkin pie. They're both really good, and that's the product I use for those. So I'll link those recipes below for you guys too. Hickama. We were debating what to call this. I have an issue saying hickama. It I called it chikama, hick, what did I call it before? Hikama. <laughs> I've called it hikama on the local news on live television. So if you can't pronounce it, don't worry, we can't either. Yeah. <laughs> no one knows. But this I just found this recently at Trader Joe's and I go there so often that I was like, that's new. So I just got it. And the only time I had it was on like a weird salad when I was 10. So I gave it another try. And it's really good, it's just crispy. It's kind of like if you want chips, if you're in the mood for chips, but you want to make the better choice, you have jicama. It kind of tastes like a cross between an apple and a potato, but you eat it raw, which is interesting. And it's really good to dip in guacamole, actually. Ooh, delicious. Let me try that. Cut butternut squash. How convenient. Yeah. So I just don't feel like cooking a butternut squash this week. So I decided to just get it pre-made. So it's like cubed, I'm just gonna put it in the oven or saute it. And it's just amazing for you. Really good carbs. And you know, Kelsey knows about the good carbs. And well, if you guys watch your carbs, which if you're watching this channel, I assume you at least count them, you know that like sweet potatoes are super high. So if you want something that tastes like sweet potatoes and you have that like sweet fall like taste, you don't want to have that high of a carb meal. Butternut squash is a really good lower carb option. So for the same amount of carbohydrates, you can get more volume, which is always a good thing. Always. Get these. And cutting up a butternut squash is a pain in the butt. It's such a pain. Get it? It's butternut. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> so, the butternut squash that's already cut will save you a lot of headache, and cutting them is kind of dangerous. Like, they're big and they're hard, and like getting a knife through there is not the easiest thing in the world. No. Don't cut towards yourself. Never. Never. Don't do that. The last thing I got, so at Trader Joe's, 
One of the fastest ways you can change your diet is to choose a grocery store that has healthy options. So Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, Sprouts, uh, places like that, it just automatically is going to make you healthier. So that's awesome. But Trader Joe's does have a lot of sweets. They have a lot of splurge foods. Oh, so many good splurge foods. So one of my favorite splurge foods to get there is dark chocolate espresso beans because I can have these in my pantry and not eat the whole thing. They're really rich and it's just not something you want to like wolf down like like cake or cookies. Or peanut butter cups. Or peanut butter cups. My weakness. <laughs> So these are awesome. I like having a few after a meal. And you have lots of antioxidants from the espresso beans. Well, thank you so much, Beth, for doing this haul for us. I know that a lot of these products are things that I don't pick up myself, so I thought it was a really great opportunity to show you how somebody else shops at one of my favorite grocery stores. Again, I will link all of her information below. Go check her out. She has some really awesome YouTube videos, and her website's beautiful as well. Thanks. Thanks so much for having me. And thanks for watching, guys. Also, we are about to film a video on her channel all about if it fits your macros. So she's going to be asking me questions about the way that I diet and my lifestyle right now. So make sure you go check that out. I will also link that below, or you can click right here to see that video. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.